Hello, Sagittarius. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. What are the messages for Sagittarius holding on? We have, you left quite an impression. Marriage, regret, and, whoops. Seize the opportunity. Pay attention to the details. Let me do one more. Someone's not feeling good enough right now. There's sadness and loss in the situation. Okay. This person may regret marrying somebody else, or they may regret that you married someone else. Something along that line. We'll see. Ooh, under the deck is karma. This has been showing up for a lot of the readings um, this week. Someone could be attached to you or somebody else. This can also mean like they are in another situation, whether they're married or in this situation. But someone's missing you, but you're on the right path. Someone is reliving the past and there's karma coming in. So again, it could be the other person's coming back around, but I noticed this week, cause I don't like to use the word karma and all that. Um, you know, if you treat people bad, karma comes back cause people don't like you, but this could be universal karma I've seen this week. Uh, we are in retrograde, aren't we? So, okay. Holding on, you left quite an impression on this person. They could regret being married or marrying somebody else. Maybe they wanted to marry you, but they didn't. Or you said, you know, you wanted to marry them, but they didn't. Um, I think I said that twice. Seize the opportunity. Pay attention to the details. Someone is feeling inadequate and they are sad. There's sadness and loss. But this could be their karma. But all right. What is the overall energy? What is the overall energy for Sagittarius in this reading? It is Page of Swords, a lot of spying. Yeah, this makes sense with the cards that came out. You left quite an impression. They're definitely watching watching you like a hawk oh you know what that last week there was a hawk outside we have a lot of hawks here where i live and it was a screeching 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 um so annoying back and forth back and forth and it went off like a week and that maybe what that was maybe someone was spying hardcore maybe that's what that hawk means you know all the animal totems usually it's seeing something from a higher perspective when you run into a hawk because they are up very high and they can see what's going on below them that's interesting that I said that and that came to mind. Someone's watching you like a hawk. Okay, how do you feel in the situation? Seven of coins, you're just looking at your coins, you're looking at the past. How they feel is the king of swords. Okay, so this makes sense. So they could be any sign, but they're not showing how they're feeling. They're definitely, this person could be married to someone else, but definitely regretting that, that uh, marriage and thinking about you a lot. All right, we have the page of swords. What is this for Sagittarius? Okay, they could definitely be in a relationship with somebody else, but it's not going very well with temperance and the Knight of Coins. It's not going very quickly. Uh, this could be a newer relationship or marriage that this person is in possibly. But yeah, it makes me feel like either you're dating someone else or they are with the Four of Wands. But temperance, it's not going well. Someone's not putting the effort into the relationship, giving the other person the cold shoulder. There might be children involved, Knight of Coins, but usually it's older children, but it can also be like a watcher card. Knight of Coins to me can also be kind of Page of Swords, but not quite so aggressive. Like he's just kind of looking, waiting, not making a move. Someone may be thinking about getting a divorce. Someone may be really contemplating what to do next. What is the Seven of Coins? Now this energy might be yours, like if you're thinking about making a change or a move, because you also have the Seven of Coins, but this person is definitely oh, this person who's watching you seven of swords the star and the four of coins so you're looking at the past you see lies or deceptions okay, now you may be the one who's still holding on though because if you're still looking at the past and holding on the four of coins that might be your energy and not theirs but what is the king of swords All right, so someone is stuck in a third party or they're stuck with someone because of money. So someone definitely with a king of coins can be the father or husband or wife, mother card that's stuck in a third party, but that this person may really like you. You may also really like this person. It may be an Aquarius. You may secretly be holding on. Maybe you still love this person and you have not wanted to let go. What is the four of coins? What is the four of coins? Seven of coins again, seven of swords again, and the page of wands. So they're definitely, you're waiting for communication. I think this person's going to communicate. If this is a third party that you're in with this person, and maybe you're just, they're with their husband or wife, you're going to be getting some communication soon. 
Um, this again tells me like the relationship got up to a certain point and then it ended. So either they're in a relationship with somebody else. Look at Hierophant and you. Or this is your relationship with them. What is the Three of Cups? What is the Three of Cups? They may have ended a third party and again want to communicate with you. Eight of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to summarize what I'm seeing here. Whoever this person you're dealing with, I can tell you still like them. You still want to hear from them. You still have feelings for them. They were in another relationship, but it looks like that relationship has ended or is ending. It may have been just for money. They may have been married. Um, you're going to hear from this person. They know they really let you down. They really don't feel like they're good enough, though. I'm thinking just because they may not act like it's Six of Wands. Why is this all happening? What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Nine of Coins. Okay, you're under the deck right now, but they're manifesting you. Look at they're manifesting their way back to you. They definitely want to keep you in their life with the devil. They don't want to let you go. They're in a relationship possibly where they're paying all the bills or taking care of everything with the Nine of Coins. Sometimes that's the... Uh, pampered wife or husband, the sugar mama, dad, or whatever. If they're married to him, I guess that wouldn't be that. But anyway, someone could be staying in a relationship because of money. Someone's not working. They regret marrying this person. The other person's not working at all. And again, this could be a man, not just a woman, but um, definitely that's what I'm seeing here. This is why this is all going down. This person could have been stuck in the relationship, feeling stuck but out in the cold, and they wanting to come to you. Now, this could be more of a physical car with the devil, though. They could be a Capricorn, but they're not wanting to let you go for sure. So, why the Nine of Coins? They may be tired of paying the bills, of taking care of the situation with the moon here. Let's see what the moon is. What is the moon? Four Swords in reverse, Nine of Coins in reverse, the Fool in reverse. Yeah, no communication. I'm holding it upside down, but that's okay. They're meant to come out this way. Because this person's realizing that they don't want to foot the bill anymore for this other person. They don't want to sit around and do nothing. They don't want to be this. Because this is telling me it's the opposite of this. Money being taken care of. They don't want to do this anymore. They regret marrying this person. Because they're with this new person, they can't move on and be with you. They're not single. They're with this person. They can't leave them. They may not be married to them, but there's definitely something. Maybe they got pregnant. Maybe the other person got pregnant. So now they feel like they have to stay for the child or something. But there's definitely this feeling here. Like they regret what they did, whether it was to you or somebody else. And they want to get out of the situation. This other person they're with may be very mean or cold to them. Make them feel like they're not good enough. Put them down. Not sleep with them. Like a lot of things like that. That can also be the temperance card here. So whoever you're dealing with is not happy in the relationship they are in. They're still thinking about you. You're still, I think, thinking about them. You haven't let them go either. Karma, though, is hitting this other person because they decided to go back to the past. They decided to stay, I think, with this person that they're in a relationship with, this marriage. And it's causing them to feel very um, inadequate and sad, missing you. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person or situation? You see them as being very deceptive. How do they feel about you? They think that you will be there for them, that you might take their cup, that the two of you can reunite. You see them as the Seven of Swords, so you see them as a lover at work waiting. But there's blockages and they're sad. You may make them wait. You may say, no, you got to live with what you did. Okay. So yeah, you see this person as being very deceptive. This could be a workplace romance here. Um, but again, you're going to make them wait with that hanged man. Or they're being blocked by the universe. It may not be you. They see you as a page of cups. They see you as waiting. Four swords not doing anything. They see you here. You are very beautiful. So they definitely think about you a lot. They know that you put up with a lot of crap with, from them with the nine of wands. And you're still waiting is what they feel. Nine of wands. One more, please. I want to see one more. And you're blocking them. Okay. And maybe you left them out in the cold. Five of coins. What is the potential outcome in this situation? What is the potential outcome in this situation? Hermits. There's no communication possibly. But there is. There is. There might be. Page of coin, two of cups. 
coming in, but let's see. What is the hermit energy? What is the hermit energy? They're going to come back in, definitely. They're still thinking, though. Hermit tells me, obviously, it's not quite right. Not quite the right time. Same with Hanged Man. But they are going to move away from the situation, this ex or whoever this other person is, very quietly. And they're going to try to rekindle things with you with the Three of Coins. They're probably not sleeping with this other person anymore. I think they're going to come back to you. They definitely want to be with you physically and try to work things out with you. Um, this can also mean wanting to work things out, but also wanting to, again, physically be with you. So you are going to get communication from them. I'm getting, if you work with them, I get like a very low-key message, a very, I'm sorry, let's go to lunch or something. What else can we know about this three of coins, though? They're definitely manifesting you. They want to give you something with the six of coins. could be a gift. But they're worried. So, got the Knight of Coins now. You may be ignoring them at this moment, or you will be. With the Hermit and the things I'm seeing here. Um, if they can't win you back, they're going to move on. But they're doing it very slowly because I do see that they love you. They're not going to give up, though. They're going to give you a cup again. But you, again, you may not want it. You may not take their cup. So, if this person has already reached out to you once, they're going to reach out to you again. They really don't, because I feel like it's page of coin, knight of coins getting a little bit bigger, right? A little bit bigger offer, a little bit bigger um, hope, going to give you something. They may not be, though, telling you that they're divorcing, though. They may not be telling you what you want to hear. What is the four of cups? What is the four of cups? They're not getting a divorce necessarily because Ten of Coins is still here and Ten of Coins is a relationship and money and a third party. And again, yeah, they're going to come back. They're going to tell you, I regret marrying this person. I regret being with them. I want to get a divorce. I want to leave them. But, you know, I have kids with them or I'm the only person who's supporting the relationship. They don't work or this and that is what I'm seeing here. So how do you feel, universe, angels, spirits, and guides, about this person that's coming back into Sagittarius's life? How do you feel about this person? I want you to look for some type of sign within the next few weeks. Yes. Okay, so in the near future, one more, please. Whoops, I pulled two. Be assertive, choose a new direction. Okay. You're going to hear from this person. I'm not sure if there's karma being served here, if you need to talk to them, what there is. But look, within the next few weeks, I guess they want you to talk to this person, see what they have to say. They seem to have a big positive yes. In the near future can mean today, tomorrow, the next two, three days this week, okay? It means like right now. Um, choose a new direction to be assertive, meaning don't focus on this person, don't focus on the situation, focus on you, your work, if you're dating somebody else, whatever you want to do. Just choose something else to to deal with and go after that and be assertive so so in other words don't think about this person for the next two weeks don't focus on them don't call them or wait for or text them or let you know don't answer them just do you make this person wait because they are coming back in with another offer but we kind of see that i see like two offers down here but i see you leaving one and then them waiting and coming back with another the only thing is this shows me that they're not quite they're not out of a relationship, but yet that may be changing. This person may regret not marrying you. If it, if that's the case, maybe they um, have the opportunity also to marry you, but they will be dropping the other person. Either way, you're going to hear from this person. You are going to be getting communication within the next couple of weeks. So let me go to this deck really quick. Anything else Sagittarius needs to know? The Five of Wands, the High Priestess, okay, the Nine of Coins. There's arguing going on with this person. 
and they're whoever they're with. We have the World card, Page of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> again, Eight of Coins. So again, there's a lot of fighting going on, and again, you are a good catch with the Nine of Coins. So this can also be the other person if they are, you know, paying. You know, the person's not putting their, they're not helping in the relationship. This person, though, is coming to you with the world card. They're spying, Page of Swords and Ace of Wands. They want a new beginning with you. So no matter what, this person wants a new beginning with you, Ace of Wands. So however it works out is up to you. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a really good week. And what I mean by that, I mean that's not cold. It means if you want them back, the opportunity is here. The universe seems to like them. If you don't, of course, you can turn them down and say no. But some big changes, I think, have gone on with this person and how they feel and what the karma they've been through and the regret and sadness and um yeah all right so i'm gonna leave it here you guys have a really good week and i'll talk to you soon